Hi, it's me again with Kirill Roll Tips and Tricks. This isn't a perfect example, but it does look like there's a ball inside of a screen ball with a background. Pretty easy to do, just a few uh, steps you have to think about. Uh, and hopefully, maybe you can even take it to the next step and make it look better. But I just took a two-point line. And for some reason, I'm still using somebody's points. Uh, we're going to type in 60 points. And then I'm going to go to object and convert that object outline to an object. I'm going to make it black. And then I'm going to take the control D and make a duplicate and just by hand move it down quite a bit. And then I can control D and it'll move it down equally amount of that. Kind of make you make you you've got a square. Control G to group it, control D to duplicate it, rotate one of them 45 degrees, rotate the other one a negative 45 degrees, and you have that. Now here's what kind of you have to do. Control G to group it together, control D to duplicate it, and we're going to move that one over there, and we're going to make that one a gray. And maybe we'll even put an outline around the lines, and we'll look at that later. Now, take a an elliptical. I should have really started in the center of the page, but I'm going to wing it because I'd have to move both of them. Well, you know what? We can't. I, I like working in the center of the page. So I can make this in the center of the page. I can hit that in the center of the page. It's still selected, so I can nudge it over. Now I'm going to take an elliptical and make it a little bit bigger. And I actually want two of those because I'm going to hit P, put it in the center of the page. So I'm going to move that over. Now I'm going to grab just the ellipse or the circle. I am going to go to effects and lens. And I'm going to go to fisheye. And you see what it did. Now I'm going to freeze that or frozen. And I'm going to move that ball up. Now I'm going to do the same thing with the, the gray one. Fish eye. Well, you see what I did? I had everything selected so that Corel is trying to fish eye the whole thing. Um, and it just won't work. So let me back up because you only want, let me zoom in. You only want your ellipse picked. Lens, fish eye, done. Freeze it. Move it up. And now I'm going to take away the red outline. Well, if I take away the outline, I'm going to take away the outline on the other, but we can change that later. I'm not going to do anything to those. I'm going to, I'm going to move that to the center of the page. I'm going to nudge that down. Now I'm going to draw a ball quite a bit smaller. Make it, I'm going to make it blue this time. Take away the outline by left clicking. I, am, I just made a video today about the mesh field tool, and it is pretty cool to, for doing this type of work. I am going to get a white and put it in that center spot, and then I can move that over. So it kind of looks like a glowing shadow. I am going to now hit P and put it in the center of the page, and I'm going to go to object order back of page. So, well, this is one of the reasons I decided to make the video. These are going to have a white background when you use the fisheye tool. So let's get rid of the white background that it did. Order back a page and you can see the white. So it's really not going to work. But if we grab it and go to object group and ungroup and then try to grab just the white and hit delete. There we have that. Same thing here. Object group and ungroup have to zoom in and try to grab just the white and hit delete there we go now i'm going to go ahead and put an, an outline around this just to make it kind of stand out a little bit now i'm going to bring our ball back in and i'm going to go to object order back a page now the yellow is there now but we can get get rid of the yellow now we can group this back together, Control-G, 
which really, honestly, we need to, we need to group the whole thing. We need to group both of them. So I'm going to back up. I needed to group this. Control G. Control G. We can get rid of our yellow box now and hit P and put that in the center of the page. Go up to object order, back a page. Now we don't know where this fits, but it needs to go object order, back a page. Now what we need to do, that one is still selected. We're going to double click on the rotation and just move that other one. I've really got them uh, too many lines or too close together, but you can see by rotating it, I'm allowing you to see the back of the ball. So the, the blue ball looks like it's inside of a wire mesh. And I would appreciate it if anybody would like to do this and do it better. I would like to see it. Because there are several tri tricks you could do. Uh, we've still got the gray one uh, selected. We can go to the and lower the uh, transparency tool and lower the transparency to make that gray not quite as pronounced and maybe even take away the, the outline. Well, now you can't see the gray at all. So maybe, maybe the transparency tool isn't going to work. But in close inspection, and then we could still put a white or black outline on it. And there's a lot you could do with, you know, shading and uh, shadows and uh, everything else to it. But that's how you put a ball into a wire mesh. Hope that helped. Thank you for watching.